Welcome to module one, lesson three. For today's lesson, we're gonna focus on this I can statement. I can regroup and rename multi-digit whole numbers. So this vocabulary of regrouping and renaming is gonna be really important in this lesson and for the remainder of your year in fourth grade. Let's go ahead and take a look at our build understanding problem. The North American Butterfly Association runs about 450 butterfly counts. Each year, volunteers count all of the butterflies observed within a 15-mile count circle in a one-day period. For this year's count, Dr. Fiona ordered 1,700 pencils. We need to show 1,700 using a large cube and flats, then draw a quick picture to show your work. So if you have hundreds blocks um, with you, you can go ahead and get those out. If not, we can use a picture to represent. So I'm gonna take a look at this number, 1,700. I'm gonna go ahead and write this in expanded form. 1,700 is equal to 1,000 plus 700. So now once I have that broken apart into expanded form, I wanna think about how I'm gonna represent that using hundreds blocks. Well, it tells me to use a large cube. One large cube is going to be equal to 10 flats. If we have 10 groups of 100, then that's equal to our 1,000 that we need to show the number 1,700. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show that large cube, meaning 1,000, and then to represent the next part of my number, 700, I'm gonna go ahead and show seven flats. So go ahead and complete your representation to show 1,700. Pause the video if you need any more time to complete that drawing. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and look at the questions about this number. It says, what is another name for 1,700 using thousands and hundreds? So it's looking for us to take that example like we did when we broke it into expanded form. How do we rename this number 1,700 using thousands and hundreds? We can rename it as 1,700. If you regroup the thousands cube as flats, how many flats would you need? Well, B is asking us to use this vocabulary word regroup. So let's go ahead and take a look. When you regroup a number, you exchange amounts of equal value to rename a number. So just like we renamed 1,700, we now need to rename that thousands cube as flats. So we talked about that on the previous slide. How many flats are in a thousands cube? There's 10 flats, meaning there are 10 hundreds. So if we regroup that thousands cube, we break it apart into those flats again, how many flats would we need? We would need 10 flats. So now letter C is asking us, how many flats do you need to rename 1,700 as hundreds? I'm gonna pop back to my picture. If I know that this thousands cube is equal to 10 flats, or 10 hundreds, how many total flats would I have? How many total hundreds? Well, I know I would have this 10 plus the seven more. So how many flats would I need? I would need 17 flats to rename, to regroup and rename. So then finally, letter D asks us, how can you rename 1,700 as hundreds? We know we have 17 groups of 100 
in 1,700. So we could rename that as 1,700. We're going to go ahead and look at the step it out problem. Dr. Fiona also needs 100,000 recording sheets for the butterfly count. How can you use a place value chart to regroup and rename 100,000? Write 100,000 in the place value chart. Go ahead and do that now. All right, so we have 100,000. Use the place value chart to help you regroup and rename in each place value position. So now what we need to do, just like we thought about that 1,700, as we broke it apart into different place values, we're going to take a look at our 10,000s. We know we have 100,000. Okay? We have a 1 in that 100,000s place. Now it's asking us to look at how many 10,000s there are. So we want to think about regrouping this into 10,000s. It's showing you down here this green line, right? It's asking us to look at this section. Well, if we just look at the digit in the 10,000s, we would say there's zero 10,000s. But it's asking us how many total 10,000s there are. Just like there were 17 total hundreds, in this case, there are 10 total 10,000s. So now we'll go ahead and take a look at the thousands place. And it's marking that in orange for us. Again, we're not going to look at the digit, right? It's not that there are zero thousands. How many total thousands are there in 100,000? There are 100. And we'll keep going. We're going to look at that hundreds place now. Again, we're looking to the left with that digit because it's not just the digit in that place value. So how many groups of 100 are there in 100,000? There are 1,000 hundreds. If I were to create this number using place value blocks, I would need 1,000 of those 100 flats in order to create the number 100,000. We'll keep going over to our tens. How many total tens are there in 100,000? There are 10,000. And then finally, we regroup and rename using ones. Well, how many total ones? If I were to create this number, 100,000 out of little ones cubes, I would need a hundred thousand ones. Go ahead and complete the check your understanding now. You're going to use the place value chart to regroup and rename the number. We're going to take 23 ten thousands and regroup it. When we look at this first number it wants us to take a look with 23 10 thousands. If I were to place that in my place value chart, it would look like that. 23 in the 10 thousands place. Okay, I have the digit zero in all other place value. But I want to take a look at 23 thousands and regroup 23 thousands as 200 thousands and 3 ten thousands. So this number 23 10 thousands is equal to 230,000. So now let's go ahead and check how many hundreds is that equal to? Well, I'm going to take a look at that hundreds place and how many total hundreds are there? In total, there are 2,300 hundreds in 23 ten thousands or 230,000. So let's check our next one. Now we're going to look at thousands. How many thousands are there? 230. 
now the problem is asking us to regroup all the way down to tens. And how many total tens, how many of those sticks would we need to make this number? We would need 23,000 tens.